take our first step in development inside the vision. If you are new to WP, don't worry. Cover all the basics step by step so you can start building your first Windows desktop application with the morning UI. WPF stands for Windows Presentation Foundation. It's a powerful framework for building rich desktop applications using XML, UI, and topology. Obviously, you can also use um, Visual Basic for WPF as well, just so you know. WPF is all about separating design from means both professional, scalable, and visually appealing applications. So to get us started, as you can see on the screen, I've got Visual Studio 2026 open. Okay. And behind it, I've got the installer open. So to get ourselves set up, let's make sure we've got all the necessary or the necessary components needed for us to get started. So let's open our Visual Studio installer and on the Visual, under the Visual Studio 2026, let's click on modify. So this is what we get. So we have to make sure that we select .NET Desktop Development. So this will help you build WPF <coughs> Windows Forms and console applications using C Sharp, Visual Basic, and F Sharp with .NET and .NET Framework. Okay, so make sure you've got this box checked. If you don't have it checked already, check it, download and install it from this 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 bit here. So download while installing. So as you can see, I've already got it installed. So there's no there's no need for that. Okay, so let's get back to our Visual Studio. So here, we, let's go ahead and create a new project. So here, this is what we have the new project dialog. So here, under the um, all projects here, let's select um, uh, desktop as our project type here, yeah? and then scroll down. So as as we scroll down, or we can type WPF here. So let's go ahead and type WPF and enter. So we get a bunch of WPF um, apps. So let's select the first one, which is C Sharp WPF application. So this is a project for creating a .NET WPF application. So let's select it and then click Next. So here, we can configure our project details, like the project name, um, the location, and where we want, I mean, the and the solution name, okay? So let's go ahead and click on Next. So here we can select whatever um, framework that we want to use. So we leave it as 10.0. This is the preview for the 2026 version of Visual Studio. So let's go ahead and click on Create. So as you can see here now, we've got our first WPF project created for us. So this is just an empty um, template which contains, um, let's have a look here. So we've got a project as WPF app 3 and we've got the dependencies and yeah, so these are the uh, standard dependencies and also we've got the app.saml so this is where we've got the application resources defined and um and then resource definitions and whatnot yeah then we've got the assembly info yes also got the main window so this is the main window that actually comes with the, um, the template okay so whenever we run this is mostly um, the start window. So this is the first window that runs, and you can take it from there. Okay. So, and the main window. Once if we expand it, yeah, we've got the main window dot .saml dot um, .cs, which is the code behind. So um, this con uh, this contains the logics for the design. So whatever that you want, whatever logics for this design that be inside there, like on click events and handling all sort of events. Okay. So if we if we select this uh, window here, which is displaying, and then and then click on the tools or toolbox, okay. Let's wait a bit for it to come up. 
So as you can see here now, we've got um, all WPF controls. We've got common controls. So if we expand it here, let's expand the all WPF controls. So we've got a bunch of controls that we can drag and drop inside the design. Okay. Um, so let's let's start with the button. So we can drag and drop the, the button inside here. So as you can see here now, we've got a button here, and if we if we go inside the code here, you can see that the button has been added added to the code as well. So the content is button. So let's let's put something here, like click me, and then let's. Uh, make some changes here like um, the font size so let's set it to like something like 48 this will make it appear a little bit bigger okay so also uh, the grid here inside that uh, um, the button is inside the, the grid so let's go ahead and and, and change the color the background color of the grid here let's make it so as you can see, as as we're changing, see the whole background has changed. Okay, so this is how this is very simple to get yourself started. Okay, so let's do one more thing here. So let's handle the the button click events. Okay, which which will be inside the uh, um, the main window .xaml.cs. So we can select the button. Or uh, we can double click it. We can double click the button. So as you can see, the computer is a little bit slow. So once you double click the button, <coughs> it's, it's created this uh, on, um, button click event for us. So you can handle whatever you want to handle inside whenever the button is clicked. So um let's let's do something let's put something like message box so let's put message box dot show yeah so hello world so whenever um the, the button is clicked um this message will pop up hello world so let's go ahead and run it so we can click this by running it So as you can see here now, we've got our first um, WPF um, desktop app running. So let's go ahead and click it here. So as you can see here now, we've got the, the message showing "Hello World." Yeah. So right now, yeah, not to I, I tend not to complicate you too much. Yeah, I've showed you the basics yeah, and how to get yourself started and set up and how to run your first desktop um, WPF desktop application. Okay. So from here, you can start playing with it. Like I show you, like I showed you from the earlier on video, you can also make use of um, the Copilot. Okay, for, help you obviously to help you get started as well. So, not to talk too much, yeah. Wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Stay blessed and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.